what's up youtube welcome to the video so in our previous tutorial we created an interface to perform CRUD operations on firebase real-time database but there is some problem with the built-in functions from firebase so the problem is if i create a new record and click add the record is added you can see the here the record is added but if I try to add the record with the same CNIC number like this this shouldn't be added but if I click add you can see that the data gets updated which is wrong so we are here to sort out this problem so to deal with it we need to create a new function which will be called interface and this function will be used by all of the buttons so first we will get the button id we will write e dot target dot id this will get the id of the button that triggered the interface function now if the button id is retrieve button then just call the retrieve data function and return so do not proceed with this function and now i will copy the retrieve function remove the code within so there are two condition if the snapshot means the record exists and the second one is the record does not exist so if the record exists and button id turn out to be add button then alert else if the button id turn out to be update button then call the update data function because if the employee already exists then it is valid to call the update function if it is the delete button then call the delete data function otherwise copy these three conditions paste it in the else so in this part the data does not exist so it is valid to add the data to the database so we will call the add data function but we can't update the data so we will say same with the delete button we will say cannot delete employee does not exist so this is the complete function now we will assign this function to all of the buttons So this is it. Uh, we didn't uh, initialize the constant here. So the DB reference. Now let's test this out. One, two, three, four, five. Add. So the data is added successfully. Now if we try to add this data with changes, it's saying that it already exists and we can add duplicates. If we try to update the data, then it will get updated.
and we can also delete this employee. So the employee is deleted. Now if we try to delete it again, it's saying that the employee does not exist. And if we try to update this, then it's saying cannot update. But it will let us add the employee again. So the problem is solved. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.